<clears throat> Hi, this is the design of the wife beater, communicating about wife beaters. Now, the wife beater principle constructed manifestation of the mind systems as human beings in the world is also related to human beings who exert their anger and frustrations, disappointments, hatred, disgust, at separate manifestations outside of themselves, such as wife beaters. Wife beaters are but the example of what happens when human beings exert their anger to something separate from them. Whether it is even when you become so bloody frustrated and angry, full of hatred and anger and like that, and you go out to the gym and you punch it out. Problem. Because you're still not solving the emotional manifestations and expressions within yourself you're actually giving it more power. <laughs> so when you punch or hit or exert your anger out on something or someone else separate from you, you're actually building up that very system, that very mind construct system within you. That's the same with wife beaters. What do they do? They have, through their life, built up suppressed anger, frustration, hatred, disgust, disappointment within them. When they've become angry, they exert the anger out on everyone else in the world. <laughs> you know? And then, at the end, there's an innocent woman standing in front of them, and then they go. <laughs> they don't see the woman. They see another manifestation through which they're able to exert their anger, frustration, hatred, disappointment, disgust, as they go through their process of building up their mind system within them. It is a mind system built up enhancer, wife beaters. But there's no different to a wife beater than to human beings who beat up anything else in their world. Their starting point is exactly the same. Just where and to what they exert their anger out to might be different, yes. But the starting point is the same. Exerting anger. If you in any way exert and express your anger to anything outside in this world, you're building up your mind system and it will get worse to the point where you might even be able to kill someone. Because you won't be able to stop yourself, you won't be able to control yourself because you've built up this mind system within you for a very long time. And you've enhanced it to actually allowing yourself to exert the anger. Therefore, human beings, when you in any moment, now there are, there are, there are beings who, you know, exert their anger, frustrations out on human beings separate from them, and it happens like in a moment, it just kind of, something just clicks and you just go. Now I urge you to become aware of those moments. Those moments when you feel that anger just like wanting to build up and that frustration and that irritation just want to build up and you just want to shout. I would suggest stop in that moment. You stop yourself immediately. Understand that if you allow yourself to continue in such anger, frustration, irritation, hatred, Exertion separate from you, you're building up a mind system within you, and that is dangerous. That is really dangerous. Mind systems are unpredictable to a certain extent, especially in the moments when the mind might just tick, and then you're out and you do something which you'll regret later and which you will have to pay the consequences for. This is serious stuff, human beings, and it's not to be played with, especially the mind, especially the exertion of anger. So, before you even get the hint of irritation, the hint of anger that you want to express either through words or through physicality to anything or anyone in your world, it doesn't matter. You stop yourself. You control yourself. 
because and even if you're in a process where you've become rather addicted to such exertions of emotional frustrations, irritations and anger to anything or anyone in your world, after you have done it, you stop yourself and you apply forgiveness immediately. In the process you'll start noticing more that you're becoming aware of the anger and the irritation and the frustration build up before you actually exert it out to anything or anyone else in your world. And those are the moments where self-control comes in, where you have to stop yourself. You say to yourself, no, stop. Human beings, do not allow yourself to exert anger, frustration and irritation to anything or anyone else in your world. It's not deserved. It doesn't matter what the reason or what the cause. Now, I'm, I'm speaking, I'm not exerting anger or frustration, I'm speaking direct. It is a directness. I'm silent within myself, clear. There's nothing moving. There's a difference. But to those who still act in anger, frustration, hatred, irritation, stop yourself. Do not allow yourself to go there. Understand, if you go there, you're enhancing your mind within yourself. And you're not only harming yourself extensively, but also that beings who you're exerting your anger, frustration, irritation out upon. And I'd be very cautious around children. Very cautious. Because you don't know what one moment of anger, irritation and frustration outburst of the mind within you towards a child could influence that child's life for the remainder of that child's life. Therefore, self-control human beings. When you feel that anger, irritation, frustration build up, you stop yourself. Because you know that that is not who you are. And you apply forgiveness for even allowing yourself to participate in such emotions of anger, frustration, irritation. Do not exert it on anything else. Stop it. Thank you very much.